and welcome to the workshop vlog episode 15. Today is mostly going to focus on projects and some updates about the channel. So I'm going to start with my new project. So I made the wooden boat which if you haven't seen that video I'll link it up there. So I really enjoyed making this project and it challenged me a lot so I thought why not try making something on a similar sort of idea. So I'm going to be making a wooden car. So I've got these scrap bits of Sapili, funny enough, from my brother's boat. Um, so there's the two sides of the car. And then I've got this piece of maple, which was used, or ash, um, to make the rim around my boat. So I've got the interior of the car. I just printed out some templates online. I found a design I liked um, and just tweaked it so it would work with the materials I had available. I've also got all of this stuff in here which I can use if I need any extra parts. So there's a couple of other things I want to talk about as well. Something which is a bit different from the usual idea on this channel. So my friends put out a video called Cyprus during a pandemic, Cyprus travel video summer 2020. And I think it's a really good video, there's some really interesting um, cinematography I guess in it and some really nice transitions and things like that. So I'm going to link that video down below in the description if you're interested in checking that out. Otherwise you can click the link up at the top. I'd really appreciate if you would go and give him some support though on that video. And I've discussed this wooden car which the video on that will hopefully be out in about two weeks time. I have got a bowl video coming out which is a very large bowl pot kind of thing. And it was a big learning experience because it didn't go quite the way I wanted to and I figured out why now so I'm going to talk you through why it didn't, why I struggled to turn it in the video. It was due to where I had tool rests positioned and bits and bobs and presentation angles but I'll talk a lot more in depth about that in my video. So the next thing to do in this video is the shout out segment. So this week I've had one, two, three entries into the shout out segment. So we'll start with the first person that messaged me which was James Matteson. He sent me some pictures of this wheelbarrow which he used a 6x1 for the sides, the front and the back. For the floor of the wheelbarrow he used 9x1 and for the handle and the wheel he used the same bit of timber and planed it to get them nice and round on the handles. And he cut the wheel with the same jigsaw I use which is the Bosch um, jigsaw, I can't remember the name, I think it's 700E or something like that. It's a really good jigsaw. If you haven't seen my unboxing of that, I'll link that up at the top as well or in the description down below. And he sanded it with 120 grit, again using the same sander I have. I think it is good to prove that other people do use these sanders and jigsaws. They are so good and I really do like Bosch's products. I do think they work incredibly well. And he used clear wood preservative on it. So there's some pictures to the right of me or the left of me now. So have a look at that. And his Instagram will be down below. Next on the shout out segment we had Jake um, O'Donnell who sent me some pictures of these flower pots and wheelbarrows he made. So he made 25 flower pots which is an absolutely massive amount. They're really nice and I cannot believe he made 25 of them. That must have taken an awfully long time. And he made three wheelbarrows. He used treated 6x1 and 4x1. Again there's some pictures next to me of those. The last person to send me something in was Plain Handmade. She made this really nice sported chestnut bowl. And it's in the making, I haven't quite finished it yet, but again, there's a photo of their progress so far. All of these guys' Instagrams will be linked down below if you'd like to go and check them out. I have also taken a trip to Surrey Timbers and I picked up a bit of Sapili, a nice bit of maple, which I will show you now. I picked up this beautiful bit of um, maple here. It's a thin, so it's 10 millimetres in its thickness. I also picked up some poplar, a really um, piece of poplar that had a massive crack down it. It was super cheap but worked really well for me because I can use it to make faceplate sections. So it's always good to look out for bits that other people might not want and you can make use of. As I said, I did pick up a beautiful piece of sapili which I won't get out because it's underneath a lot of different bits of wood. And I also picked up um, a piece of, I'm not sure, ash? Yeah, ash. And I also got a beautiful bit of wild mango. Now, I will still be doing a lot of bowls, but I still want to diversify, I guess, the woodworking videos that I'm doing, so I'm going to delve into a few different types of things. I do want to do a bit of leather work. Again, I made this stitching pony. If you're interested in seeing how I made the stitching pony, again, there'll be a link to that video here or down in the description below. I know there's a lot of links and things in the description, but I feel it does help if you want to see the video rather than you having to go and search for it yourself. It's far easier if I put a link in for you. So this was a really, really good project. I really enjoyed making it. It was very simple. It took me about three hours, including filming it all. 
so really it would take about one and a half to two. So it's got Zebrano on the inside, as you can probably see. The um, arms are made of poplar. The bolt is just a nice big chunky six mil bolt. The hinge, I think, is a cabinet hinge. And then the base is this beautiful bit of oak. And then I've screwed it at the bottom. You could do this really neatly on the bottom if you want, but given you're not going to see the bottom, I just screwed it in however I best could. Now, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the 100 subscriber giveaway when I said I would be making those people's projects, which was a games board, um, a board game, and a cookster or a sandpaper storage organiser. The reason I haven't got round to those is for a couple of reasons. One, for the board game, I know what I want to do. I'm either going to be doing a chess board, a um, checkers board, or a noughts and crosses board. But I want to wait till I have a band source so I can do it really precisely. So that'll be done in a new workshop. And then the cookser, again, I would quite like to wait for a bandsaw for that. And I am also going to do the sandpaper storage organiser as well. Um, so, yeah, I'll also be waiting for a bandsaw to do that. Because there's no point in making a sandpaper storage organiser until I have the new workshop. Now, I've got a lot of pine slats left over from the wooden shelf that used to be there. I collected most of them. And also a big, I guess it's like a old chest thing, I can't think what you call it, basically like a chest, an opening chest, um, like a big trunk kind of thing, and I decided to take the nice bits of wood from it, so I've got about, I don't know, 15 of these long ones, they're about that long, um, and I think about 10, 15 of these, if you have any ideas what I could do with them, I would really appreciate you giving me some feedback in the comments below, I have no idea what to make with them, I do have a lot of them, I thought I could turn a bowl from them, but I've done that before in a similar style with the pallet wood bowl, and I don't really see the point in doing it again with pine, because it's basically the same thing. So I'm happy to turn a bowl from them if you want me to, but I feel there's a lot more interesting things that could be done with them. Yes, I could do something like a nice end table or a small side table, but I haven't quite got enough. I did That was my initial idea, but I haven't quite got enough to laminate them all together and then attach the legs, unfortunately. And I don't really want to use another wood because I think it'd be nice to make a project that only needs pine slats because they're very easy to get and they're very cheap. You can get them from bed slats. People get rid of these things. No one uses them particularly apart from making cheap furniture or just um, mass produced furniture. So if you have any ideas for those, please put them in the comments below. Now I've been experimenting with charcoal. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a bit of ash and I tried staining it in charcoal and I really like how it looks, especially on the face of the board. If I just focus the camera, hopefully. If it's going to focus that would be good, if not don't worry. Um, so yeah, this is a nice piece of ash that I tried staining in this charcoal. So I actually made this charcoal myself by wrapping some scraps of wood in some foil and burning them but with the lid on so basically it makes smoke rather than actually burning. But it still gets very hot so I've got some charcoal water here and I've got a couple of ash turning blanks and I'm going to try and turn a bowl, a bit like what I did with the coffee but I'm going to try and do this a much more interesting way so I'm actually going to create V-cuts inside this bowl um, on the outside sorry and stain it with charcoal to create a really contemporary look and create quite a nice dark colour I guess quite a rich dark colour to this bowl and I think using charcoal would definitely be something that I can't find on the YouTube or the internet at all and that's probably for a good reason to be honest because it was quite hard work actually staining that piece of ash, believe it or not. So that is what I'm going to try and do. Now, I'm really, really excited to make this car. I've got lots of ideas. I've got some dowel for the wheels and this scrap of maple. Well, it's not really a scrap, it's just a leftover bit. And I'm really looking forward to making this. As I said, that video will be out in two weeks' time or so. But I just think it would really be a fun project, I guess, to make. So last but not least for this workshop vlog... I'll leave a link to Wood Turners Blend in the description below if you're interested in purchasing any of that. If you want to support the channel or help me out, that's a great way to help it, I guess. Because by doing that, you're supporting me and all of the money that I make from Wood Turners Blend goes back into the channel, hopefully providing me with new tools or materials so I can keep producing videos for you guys. That's about it for this workshop vlog. If you do have any questions, comments, queries or feedback, as always, put them in the comments section down below. I do read every single comment and try to answer it to the best of my ability. I hope you've enjoyed this workshop vlog. Stay tuned for next week where there'll be a lot more to come.